the Dalek time controller was saved from destruction by Kotras. Audio. X and the Daleks. From then it oversaw the chasing of the Eighth Doctor and Molly O'Sullivan through time and space. Audio. Fugitives. By using a relativity map and a temporal chamber to create a space-time projector. Using retrogenitor particles implanted inside Molly, it and Kotras plan to destroy the Time Lords. Audio. Tangled Web. X and the Daleks. After Strax has killed himself, he erased Kotras from history. The Dalek Time Controller's plans involving Kotras were therefore erased. The Dalek Time Controller was aware of the change in history while it occurred, and swore to Kotras before he was erased that he would destroy the Time Lords. Audio. X and the Daleks. The Dalek Time Controller oversaw the invasion of Nixus 7, and created mines in the planet to create a Dalek superweapon. The Doctor detonated a bomb located on a nearby Dalek in the Time Controller's chamber, damaging the Time Controller and causing him to flee to his ship in orbit above the planet. Audio. The traitor. Rather than destroying the weapon, the Doctor asked for the Dalek Time Controller's help in defeating the Eminence, who posed a bigger threat to the Daleks than the Doctor. Audio. Eyes of the Master. The Dalek Time Controller agreed, and used the weapon to destroy the Eminence fleet. Audio. Time's Horizon. The Time Controller later arrived in Paris, where it created Adelaine Dutom from its own DNA. The Controller then created Dalek Time Strategists from the criminal minds that Adelaine dealt with. It used the power of the Time Vortex to create them. It wanted to create a new paradigm so that it could control Daleks throughout all time. The Controller asked Livchenko some questions about the Eminence War, and the Doctor's involvement. The Controller opened his casing to show Liv its eye. It was dark like Molly's. The controller used the Red Pagoda and the TARDIS to create a larger shell. Audio. The monster of Monmata. The controller traveled with the reborn master to the control center. The controller wanted to find Marcus Shriver. The master told the controller that they were running out of humans to convert to Daleks so they were now using Sontarans. The controller planned to betray the master if the doctor was well enough. After the master's Dalek mutiny. He escaped with Liv and Molly in the TARDIS. Audio. Master of the Daleks. The Dalek Supreme came to believe that the controller was no longer a pure enough Dalek, having lived outside time through so many time shifts. The Supreme believed him to have been destroyed, when in actuality the Dalek time controller had transferred its consciousness to the gas created by Marcus Shriver, joining its personality with Shriver's and thus creating the eminence. The Dalek Supreme then commissioned the creation of a new Dalek time strategist from the remains of Adelaine Dutom. Audio. Eye of Darkness. The Daleks, having readopted the bronze design for drones by this point, sponsored free time. Audio. Ascension. A terrorist organization which attacked the Time Lords during President Romana's tenure. Audio. Weapon of Choice. Pandora. Insurgency. Imperiatrix. After free time weakened the Time Lords by unleashing the dogma virus. Audio. Panacea. The Daleks invaded the Axis to plunder alternate Gallifreys, including one that Romana, Narvan and Leela from the proper timeline had settled on. The trio managed to close the Axis portals, denying the Daleks access to any more timelines and trapping them in any alternate timelines they had entered, and returned to Gallifrey proper. Audio. Extermination. The Supreme Dalek led an invasion of Gallifrey via the Matrix with Slime, a resident of an alternate Gallifrey who formed an alliance with them, sent ahead to prepare for their arrival. Romana was able to trap the Dalek's invasion force in a Matrix projection with the aid of a projection of her future self. Audio. Ascension. Dalek Saucer XK Beta-19 invaded the planet Galactan to energize its core to create fuel for the Seventh Fleet. As they drilled to the core, the Daleks were attacked by local life forms. In the skirmish one Dalek fell down the hole to the core and used its gunstick to fire on the core, sacrificing itself to achieve the Daleks' goal. Pros. Mission to Galactan. The Daleks recruited Davros to lead an attack on a Krillitane base on Griffin's Reach. However, due to the intervention of the 11th Doctor, the Daleks were unable to destroy the base, and a number of Daleks were left behind on Griffin's Reach. Despite Davros claims that he could incorporate the Krillitane's cloaking technology into them, the Daleks abandoned Davros for his failure. Later, however, Davros successfully incorporated such technology into the Daleks, who assisted Davros in an ambush of the Doctor on Alacrasis IV. Despite this, 
The Doctor successfully tricked the Daleks into self-destructing by lying to them that he could only die if Davros was killed first. At least 50 of the 100 Daleks attempted to exterminate Davros, triggering a failsafe system that Davros programmed into them, thereby destroying them. After the Doctor left, Davros had the remains of the Daleks transported onto his command ship, so as to avoid confrontation by the rest of the Dalek Empire. Pros. Father of the Daleks. The Daleks began attacking the temporal powers, exterminating the Monon host, Sunari and Nekastani. Audio. Desperate measures, after the fall of Fiden, the Time Lords formally declared war on the Daleks, officially commencing the last Great Time War. Audio. Celestial intervention, immediately following this, the Daleks communicated with Davros shortly after the Dalek attack on Alacrasis IV, requesting his assistance in the Time War. Pros. Father of the Daleks.